The first thing I'm gonna do after my debut album is released is probably go to a secluded island and turn off my phone and block everyone. Hi, I'm Brie Runway and these are my first for Enemy. The first artist I fell in love with was Justin Timberlake. I think it was Rock Your Body that I was like, I love this, what is this? And then that's what kind of introduced me properly to like the Neptune's production and like got me deep into that whole sound. The first tattoo I got was, it's on this side of my chest, it says Ferdo, as I'm not probably saying it in the best um, accent, but it basically means God's best place for his highest believers, like the highest level of paradise. And I hope to go there. The first job I ever had was Kurt Geiger in House of Fraser City. House of Fraser City. Oh no, actually my first job was assisting my mom cleaning actually. Yeah, yeah. So the first band I was in, we didn't have a name, but I was the lead singer and I did all the costume design and my mum sewed it for us. But we didn't have a name. We actually didn't have a name. <laughs> it was two girls, Salika and someone else. I don't want to mention her. <laughs> the first ever gig I went to was the great and amazing NERD. They were my first gig and the best to this day, to be honest. I was at Roundhouse in Camden and I queued up from the morning because I wanted to smell the front of Pharrell's shoe. I was like, I want to be right there. And I was. <laughs> The first song I finished writing was a song called It's About Us. It was about my ex-boyfriend and it was really cute. Really, really cute. Maybe too cute. <laughs> I think my first ever live gig was probably like a uni show or something like that where we had to put on a whole production. I, I like shredded my art, this uh, material on my arms so that when I flowed my hands up like this, it gave a bit of drama. That was fun. <laughs> the first time I heard my song on the radio, that was, it was so emotional because I feel like it's every artist's dream to make music and you hear it on the radio like accidentally or, but before I would just make sure I don't miss it. Like if there's been an interview and they're playing the song afterwards, but I just scream every single time. I think even till this day, I'm like, oh my God. The first thing I do when I get off stage is take out my in-ears so that I can hear and breathe and breathe. Take out the in-ears, breathe and ask, was it good? Yeah, was it good? Yeah, was it good? <laughs> the first festival I performed at was Mighty Hoopla in 2017. Yeah, it was to a really small crowd, like, because obviously I was on the main stage, but you see for main acts, you know, it's like packed to the brim. And there was only like probably like 50 people there for me, but I performed my ass off for them. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do after my debut album is released is probably go to a secluded island and turn off my phone and block everyone and spend time alone. <laughs>